Hello everyone and welcome to Airbus What's It Doing Now. I'm gonna give, uh, just do a short video here on uh, lateral offsets. Um, this is quite a, a useful function of the uh, FMGC, particularly if you're trying to avoid uh, some weather, uh, which uh, I know certainly in Europe um, this uh, past couple of weeks has been a fair amount of it uh, over mainland Europe. And in fact, on our route back from um, Croatia recently coming across to Germany and into France, uh, we had to avoid a squall line uh, along uh, along our route and uh, lateral offset was very, very useful. Now, I didn't actually um, record that on that occasion, but I just thought afterwards it would be a useful uh, video to share uh, just to uh, show you this function. It, it's really useful for avoiding weather uh, for, for a couple of reasons, really. Um, one, it gives you a predictable path, and so the FMGC is able to give you uh, a better fuel prediction rather than sort of creating your own uh, route around uh, and then continually updating the flight plan. So it's a lot simpler to do. Um, and also, uh, if you get the instruction from ATC or you give ATC the instruction that you'd like to uh, parallel your track by five or ten miles, it gives them a, a prediction of, of your of your path as well rather than taking lots of headings so very useful for you for your planning your fuel and time planning and very uh, useful for ATC uh, to give them some uh, you know predictability on your path and for how long you need uh, that uh, that track for so um, I'll just walk you through the video now uh, and I'll just uh, basically it's just a, uh, a voice overlay so the, the way in which you uh, get access to the uh, lateral offset um, uh, in the FMGC, whether it's Honeywell or if it's uh, Thales, I'm guessing they have a similar function. It's a line select one left, which is the lateral revision, and then it's a line select left uh, two takes you to the offset menu. Now, the offset itself can start from any place. It, uh, currently, it's preset uh, defaults to present position. Uh, and um, there is no end point uh, on the offset um, default, so you would basically continue to, to parallel your track. So here you'd select whether it's left or right and the distance that you want to uh, offset, and it's preset also to 30 degrees. Once you put that in, it puts a temporary flight plan, and I'll show you here uh, on the ND. 30% uh, or 30 degree intercept angle, and that will show a dotted line now to parallel your track until the termination uh, of your route. Now, of course, you won't need to go quite that far. You can actually set an endpoint uh, here. And in this case, I've just selected Rev2. And uh, if I just open the range up, you can see here, we go from present position, 30 degrees, parallel it all the way towards Rev2. So if you had a, a school line of weather there in between yourself and Rev2, you'll be able to laterally offset. And then you'd insert that in there by uh, key line, select six right, or erase it uh, six left. So back into the offset menu here. Again, I'm gonna put 10 uh, mile left uh, offset. It puts a temporary flight plan in immediately. And then I'm gonna put a 45 degree angle, uh, intercept angle. And uh, again, I think this one, the exit point uh, is Vasux. But I'm gonna be, I'm gonna put this um, waypoint in which to commence it from Abreem uh, Fajak. Uh, which is which is on our route, and then the endpoint uh, got uh, got to. I think it is. I can see it through my glasses, uh, and I'll show you how that uh, appears on the ND. So there you go, a beam Frejak and a beam uh, and got to, uh, and that's a ten left with a forty five degree um, intercept, and then you'd insert it, um, and you'd insert it there. Obviously, I'm going to erase it because I don't need. Uh, to do that. So that's basically it. a pretty uh, simple function, something that's not used an awful lot. Um, for, a, for, a, for, a, for maybe a, just one cell or something, then perhaps some headings to steer around it are quite useful. But if you, if you are trying to manage quite a bit of weather and there's a predictable path of that weather and uh, you'll be able to see where that weather sits, um, left or right of track. And if you put uh, the, the various ranges or the various distances in there um, between one and whatever distance you want, five, ten miles, you'll see if that track takes you around the weather. Uh, tell ATC that you need that. Uh, once you've got the approval, select your interceptor angle, your start and end point, execute, and the aircraft will fly it. 
give you a predictable pattern path, uh, time of fuel prediction, and gives uh, ATC uh, a heads up really on, uh, on, on, on your path as well. So very useful function. Hopefully uh, you found that useful. Uh, thanks uh, very much for tuning in, and I'll see you for another episode uh, in the very near future. Thanks very much indeed. Bye for now.